Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and in this video I'm going to show you how to obscure some text like pixelate some text in Photoshop. And the reason why I'm talking about this in Photoshop is usually when I take a screenshot of something and it contains sensitive information that I don't want to post on the internet, then I pixelate the text in there. It could be like an address, an email address, a phone number, uh, or something like an IP address, anything like that. And usually I use Skitch for that. But the other day I uh, used that on my laptop and uh, I, I don't know what happened, but Skitch opened with a message, well, it's just kind of not working and Skitch is broken you have to install it again and I was at a coffee shop at a time and there was no internet connection and I thought oh, well so can't really delete it and install a new copy so but I have access to an older version of Photoshop on my laptop so why not just use Photoshop to do the same thing without having additional tools so if you have Photoshop installed it has a perfectly fine pixelation filter in there and I had never used that before and I thought hey this is a good uh, topic to tell other people so there we go I thought I'm going to share my knowledge with you so I'm on a Mac here and uh, if I wanted to take a screenshot I'm hitting the shift and the command key as well as the number four key and then that brings up this little uh, cursor here that tells me which exact pixel I'm currently exploring the screen at and if I drag out a rectangle like this then everything inside that rectangle will be captured. If I also hold down space in addition to that then I can move that rectangle that I've just dragged out so I can position it kind of here and then I can if I let go of space I can then make adjustments and as soon as I let go then it'll just capture a thing like a screenshot on my desktop which is great so if I go and open that in Photoshop here's Photoshop here's this thing opened then I get I get something like this and the way to obscure text, so say, for example, I, wanted to, uh, I, I didn't want you to see the ISBN that Create Space has created here for me, for, just for, for example, then you head over here to the rectangle marquee tool or press the letter M in Photoshop. If that does not come up, then you can also uh, long click on this and that'll bring up this uh, menu where you can have a single row, single column or elliptical marquee tool. So just in case you see a different kind of symbol up here, just uh, hold click on this and then select the rectangular marquee tool. And with that, you can now drag out an area inside this document. Document. So, for example, I'm just going to drag that over this whole thing here because perhaps I don't want people to see that. And this is just making, this is just creating a selection inside Photoshop. So, if you wanted to do something with that selection, like I don't know, fill it with uh, a different color or whatnot, you can do that. Or you can also apply a filter to this specific selection. And to do that, we head over to Filter and then there's the pixelate menu and there's several things that we can do to it so you can feel free to try them all out the one we're going to use is the mosaic one and that will do exactly what we think it gives you a little preview here and it will pixelate the text it will give you an option for the cell size here uh, you can also move this around if you wanted to see what this looks like from the beginning and you can uh, make the cell size smaller which which will make the pixels slightly smaller and will kind of almost make the text still look readable it's kind of cool to to create retro effects there. so 8 i guess is the default but you can also use 12 depends on the size of your document uh, perhaps 10 is good uh, or maybe actually 12 let's just leave it with 12. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's, as long as you're happy with the text not being readable, that's it. Hit click OK, and that will have pixelated your text only inside the selection. So not on the whole image, just inside the selection. If you're a belt and braces guy like I am, you can also you can press a shift command Z and that will get uh, or shift Z rather and that'll get rid of that last step. If you're a belt and braces guy like me and you're thinking, well, I need a kind of a version that is pixelated and one that's not pixelated, you can uh, just command or alt drag onto the layer and create yourself a copy of that. So now you have two layers here and uh, if you switch off the bottom layer and just uh, do the pixelation on the top layer or what you can leave it on and just select whatever layer you need and then do that again. So filter, um, pixelate, mosaic 
and click OK, then you'll see that only the top layer will be affected with this selection. So as soon as I switch off the top layer here with a little eye icon here, then I get my text back just in case you need one version that is pixelated, one that is not pixelated. So to save this thing out, we uh, can just either use the, the option to say file, export, export as, or you can flatten the image and then just save over it. That's also an option. So either you can go to layer and then say flatten image. That'll of course get rid of your layer here. And it'll also, uh, the selection doesn't matter if that's still there or not. And in that case, you can just press uh, can command S or control S to save over the exact document. And then you've got it and then you can post it. And then there's no text anymore that anyone can read. I just thought this may be helpful. If you like this video, of course, share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for other techie tips and tricks. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.